Well, hello there, my Libras. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm here to do your general love reading from now through the end of September 2019. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell on the side and leave your positive comments and feedback down below. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my website will also be down in the description box. Real quick before we get started, I want to remind you guys about my beautiful handmade, blessed and dressed seven-day devotional candles. They are meant to be used for prayer, meditation, and setting your intentions. There's seven different varieties available. And to go with those, I have a line of my milk and honey spiritual baths. They are based on the tarot. Eight different varieties of these. This line is called Corpse et Tom, which is French for body and soul. Um, if you're interested in purchasing these products, um, send me an email and I will get you the information that you need to purchase those items. So let's get started here. Again, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Not all of the messages are going to resonate with every single person watching, so just keep an open mind. Um, I am a psychic medium. I can be picking up past, present, or future energies. Don't worry about the genders and know that the stories can definitely flip around. The only way to know for certain about your own situation is by getting a private reading with the psychic medium of your choice. So we're going to pull an overall energy message out of our, our oracle deck here to see what the overall grand scheme of things is going to be for the next couple of weeks. General love reading for the sign of Libra, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Okay, so in your overall, whoops, two cards came out. I'm going to take them. You've got the Raven and the Moon. Darkness looms on the horizon, and you will be guided through darkness. So some of you are going through some challenging times right now, but know that you will be guided through this dark time. Okay. Trust your intuition. You've been receiving messages and omens from spirit. Could also be dealing with someone with uh, black hair or dark features. I'm also picking up Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer energy here. Okay, off the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ten of Swords, Air Sign, Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody's feeling backstabbed, betrayed. we got a man down in aisle 13, clean up with a bucket and a mop. Man down in frozen foods. Yes, somebody is as done as done can be. Stick, in a, stick a fork in it. Okay, feeling sorry for themselves. Things aren't as bad as they seem. The worst is over. Pick yourself up and move on now. And then you've got the Six of Pentacles, Earth Sign, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is reciprocity, equal give and take. Giving and receiving in a balanced manner. Something may have been off balance before. King of Swords, this is you, Libra. Air sign, energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This king is a mastermind. He uses logic rather than emotion. He's an authority figure. This person may have a police or military background. This can also be a uh, male guardian angel watching over you from the other side or an ancestor. This is cutting out anything that doesn't serve you, okay? Being very decisive, keeping your emotions out of the equation. There's good news coming in, Page of Wands, Fire Sign, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, messages of passion, divine timing at hand, 
good news coming in. Okay, a decision's going to go your way. After feeling backstabbed and betrayed and going through some darkness, somebody is leaving their emotions out of a decision. They're making a fair and balanced decision, cutting out things and people that no longer serve them, making up their own mind, not allowing the opinions of others to influence them. Um, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, basically any sign. Somebody may be going through the dark night of the soul, trying to get clear on their emotions. There may have also been some secrets here, but somebody is being guided through this darkness by spirit. You've got the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, Earth, Sign, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A message with a solid offer coming in. Somebody may offer to take you out on a date, take you out for dinner, coffee, give you a small gift to show their intentions. Someone's learned some tough lessons. This can also be an apology. Both of these cards can be an apology coming in. Someone extending the olive branch and possibly doing it not only with their words but with actions. Underneath that, you've got the Nine of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Five of Cups. <sighs> Things are going to go your way. Luck is on your side here. You've got the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion. Someone has a lot of sorrow and regret from the past. There may have been a third-party situation. If somebody feels bad for what they did to somebody, if there was betrayal, hurt, and heartache caused, um, someone's very worried that... They'll never find true love or be in a good relationship or that someone may not be coming in with an apology, but they are. Don't worry, that's wasted energy. You're going to be getting in your own way, but things are going to move forward quickly now and things are going, going to go your way. You've successfully completed a karmic cycle and you've got love and abundance, reconciliation and healing coming in with this Ace of Cups, Water Sign Energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone's also gone through a spiritual awakening here. The phases of the moon. We just had a full moon in Pisces on Friday the 13th of September 2019. Okay, because I leave these videos up forever, I want to be clear on the dates. In case you're watching this a year from now, or two years from now, or next never wary. But um, somebody's intuition is awakening. They're going to let their feelings out. There's their tears out. They may want to come in and reconcile. But this is a new beginning of love and abundance and a gift from divine source energy from heaven, whatever you believe in. Beautiful energy here. Let's clarify the raven and the moon. Why are the raven and the moon here together? You will be guided through darkness and darkness looms on the horizon. Somebody might be afraid to come in with this apology, and they're going to start out with something small. They're going to act with integrity, and somebody wants to come forward and speak some truth to bring balance back into a situation. This person may have past military background, law enforcement, maybe a doctor or a counselor, psychologist, an intellectual type, also a planner. Let's clarify the moon and the raven. Yep, the king of pentacles, he's practical, cautious, solid, grounded, stable. He's your ideal husband, father. This person may live in a northern climate and have dark features and may have a winter birthday. Um, this king is very careful where he invests and he does not invest in anything that isn't mutually beneficial for him. He has been very practical, has, has a plan, and um, can provide those creature comforts to his queen. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Libra? But somebody's being guided through darkness and they've, they're awakened now. You've got the, um, 
the uh, Knight of Swords. There's going to be fast, quick movement forward. Somebody is rushing back from the past. He's pointed to the past. And um, air sign energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So things are going to go your way and pick up very quickly. Fast forward movement. Okay. And there may have been some type of an argument before that left somebody feeling really hurt. Somebody's words. Somebody was very cruel with their words and really, really hurt somebody badly. Hurt them deeply. And somebody may be now regretting that. They may have been projecting misplaced anger or their own issues onto someone. And someone now, neither one of you are sleeping at night. There's a lot of stress here, worry. But know that they are coming in with a small but solid offer and they are going to balance the scales with you. Okay. On the bottom of the clarifying deck, you've got the star, Aquarius energy. Okay. Um, healing, destiny, fate, wish fulfillment, wishes granted, prophecy, astrology. This is meant to be, this relationship is destined and fated. It's written in the stars. It is meant to be. And they realize it now. And they want to come in and heal the situation here beautiful energy. Let's get an advice message for you, Libra. Handling a situation with grace, dignity, diplomacy, okay, being gracious to someone, kind, loving, but somebody's finding their grace. love messages, please, Spirit. Someone's handled some betrayal and backstabbing graciously and with dignity. Picking themselves up. Knowing, knowing that karma is a bitch that you don't want to mess with and somebody's getting their karma. I also feel that they're going to come back in and make a gracious offer to somebody. Okay, your first love message is fate. Fate is guiding and helping this connection. Luck is with you. And like I said, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here and the Star card. This is meant to be. This connection is destined and meant to be. Love language. Speaking each other's language nurtures love to grow. Okay. You guys need to communicate because you love each other and this connection is meant to be. Okay. That's what I've got for you, Libras. Until next time, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.